Oh, hello, every Nyan. I took a drink of water. <laughs> Welcome, one and all. I hope my headset is acting okay. It sounded, yeah, it sounds a little fuzzy. Hang on, let me unplug and replug it. Okay, is that better? Test, test, test. Check one, check two, check three. Test, test, test. Yep. Sounds good to me. Can hear you fine. Thanks, Dad. <clears throat> All right, I'm starting the game. Let's see if it puts me on the right data center. Yay! Ugh. Yep, looks right to me. <clears throat> Jajang! -ja Hello. Welcome to the stream. You can't see the welcome sim. I'm, I'm doing like the emote. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. Today we're going to be doing Post Dawn Trail MSQ. So yeah. Oh, also the title of today's stream. I did not watch Yaoi. <laughs> Yesterday I said I want to watch Yaoi. I did not watch Yaoi. I should have, but instead... I started writing a fan fiction. <clears throat> Wook Lamott and Kona are going to be in this one, so be prepared. All right. Got to go to the back room. <sighs> I wonder if we're almost done with this MSQ patch. I don't know. Let's get our handy dandy controller. <coughs> All right. Passos, you getting in the back room? Oh, you heading to the back room? Yes. Excuse me. Grahatia. Oh yeah, the twins have yet to return. I hope everything is alright. Yeah, I remember we talked to them already. Aaronville. Oh yeah, Aaronville should be in the fanfic too. I'll stick around for a while. Let me know if you need me. Hmm, Aaronville should be in the fanfic too. Hmm. Hmm. I'll try to remember that. A word before you leave. Our network's already spreading word of the railroad. We expected people would be clamoring to get on the first train back. Yet the reaction's been the polar opposite. Scant few seem inclined to depart Alexandria anytime soon. What? When we spoke before, you said many from Tuliola were eager to reunite with friends and family. Maybe they're concerned about getting through Vanguard? If so, we could take turns accompanying them. In any case, we need to speak with the people ourselves. Let's start at Leno 9. Okay. Guahatia! 
Perhaps we will venture out for a bit ourselves. Oh, cute. I'm as surprised as you are. Everyone was keen to pack their bags before, but now that the journey is possible, they can't be bothered. Hmm. Now that the railroad's working again, it'll be much easier to visit Tuliolal. It would be nice to see Kona again as well. Was he not there? Oh, I guess he wasn't there when we, uh, met with Kona. I've asked Geo to fill me in on all that has happened in the dome of late. If I hear anything of interest, I'll be sure to pass it on. Thank you, Aaronville. The people were so nervous about remaining in Alexandria, I cannot help but wonder what prompted this sudden change of heart. <clears throat> okay. What are we doing? <laughs> Lay node 9. Solution 9. Oh, we just have to go to the main aether, right? Aetherite time. Hello, Lamati. There may still there there may still be people gathering in Praxis Park. Let's try there first. Okay. People look uneasy. Did something happen? I don't know, Lama D. Lama D. She's so cute. Have you heard? Someone was killed in the Thunder Yards. Hmm? The Thunder Yards was one of the hunters slain by a beast. It was a hunter, all right, and a veteran at that. But it was no fiend that did him in. Only a random bolt of lightning. Hmm. Such a senseless way to die. They say that he expended his last soul cells during Zaraljar's attack on the city. For an upright hard-working man to meet such an unceremonious end. It feels wrong. Hmm. But we'll be fine, won't we? Even if the system no longer erases our memory of the departed, the regulators continue to function. I shan't go before my time. Growing old and passing peacefully with the help of the ushers is only natural. Hmm. Well, you may think so, but how are we to know? We have no memory of those who have gone. More may have met violent deaths than passed from old age, and we would be blissfully unaware. Hmm. It could happen to you, or me, to any of us. Uh oh. I hope they don't start panicking and turn into monsters or anything. Then what are we to do? Spend every waking moment thinking only of how we might die. <sighs> With time, I had hoped that they'd be able to adjust to their new situation. But it's only gotten worse. Hmm. Look! It's Queen Spain! Hmm. 
What? as ever, Nico. Never fear. I'm here to set things aright. Hmm. I don't understand. Sveen is gone. Forever. Yeah. The fuck? You there, Gossen. You were the Queen's aide, weren't you? What's the meaning of this? Begging your pardon, Vow of Resolve. But Her Majesty Queen Sveen is paying visit to her people, as is her wont. Mm. What are you talking about? Sveen is dead. You officiated the funeral yourself. We all placed flowers to mourn her passing. A funeral? For her majesty. Uh-oh. What a curious jest. You know full well that ceremony was to commemorate those lives lost during the attack of Alexandria. Oh, man. Her Majesty walks among her people that she might support them in this most trying of times. Surely that is not cause for consternation. Mm. <sighs> I don't like this. Your Majesty, won't you free us from these terrible memories of the departed? This is no way to live. Not for us, nor our children. Hmm. I wish that I could. Truly, I do. But with living memory shut down, even I cannot restore the system that once afforded us that comfort. You needn't fret, however. I have prepared an alternate solution. Hmm. Shall be made endless. Mm. I have created a new system that allows you to transplant your memories directly into an ethereal vessel. One not reliant upon soul cells. <laughs> this way, you need never again fear death. You may live as you please, and for as long as you like. Our stores of ether are, at present, not sufficient to provide this boon to everyone. But some of you received near regulators for the funeral ceremony, did you not? And there are still more we have yet to distribute. Five thousand in all. Mm. One day soon, those with Neo Regulators will be called to join the Endless, and thence be free of suffering forevermore. Mm. But only five thousand of us. You victor. Ooh, ooh, she's angry. The real Sveen would never be content to save only some of her people. Mm. Who are you? Mm. I am Sveen. 
the queen of reason. Hmm. Creepy. Let's return to the back room. I need to calm down. And then we'll talk. Hmm. I don't like it. Never liked her. Knew she was evil from the start. What's happening? Oh, Alpha and Al's there back. You saw Sphine with your own eyes then, so it wasn't someone else. It might be someone else, I don't know. You heard about the Queen of Reason's proclamation. The rumors spread through the district like wildfire. Without the Meso Terminal, how does she propose to create new Endless? We must contact Yustola as soon as possible. That's right, we gotta contact our, our baddie, the queen of all baddies, Yastola Rule. Ah. I want to write my fan fiction. Queen Sphine has returned? How? That's what I want to know. Are you okay, Wiklamot? Seriously, what was that? Mm. Sphine was erased. If she's back, then are the Endless... Mm. There's not to report yet, but we have all eyes and ears out and never keep in heritage found. Curiouser and curiouser. We only caught the proclamation from a distance, but I can tell you that the message about neo regulators was received with utmost clarity. <coughs> mm. It couldn't have been Sphine. She should have been destroyed when the meso terminal shut down. Without a single Alexandrian to bear witness, presented with an identical figure claiming to be their beloved queen, tis no surprise that they would choose to believe she's alive. Mm. What is troubling, however, is their denial that the funeral was held in her honor. It is as if their memories have been erased. Hmm. <clears throat> Grahatia! Given that the members of Oblivion remain unaffected, that was likely the work of the regulators, but by whose design? Someone smart enough to play at being the Queen of Reason. In that guise, even if some suspect deception, most of Alexandria will be on her side. We need to find out who she really is. Yeah. Agreed. While I agree wholeheartedly, we should avoid drawing more attention than we already have. We must be patient until Oblivion's network turns up a lead, or until our self-proclaimed queen makes her next move. Mm. Options. They're all the same. It's all the same to me. It's all Greek to me. It's all gill to me. Are we gonna get a special cutscene?
Meanwhile, in living memory. Oh man, something nefarious. <gasps> you stole a. Oh, they're coming towards. Why am I? Why am I what? Naked? <sighs> What's going on? I'm so scared. In fear of death, the people turned to Queen Reborn, their fates to learn. That was it! Oh my god, we finished it. It's only 6.23. Graha's not here anymore. Where did he go? Graha. Graha. Where's Graha? I should have hugged him more. Oh wait, he's right there. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. Though we have too little information to draw any useful conclusions as yet, I dare say the Queen of Resolve's behavior henceforth will be illuminating. Agreed. Oh, Grahatia. I love you so. So he's just gonna hang out here till the next patch, huh? Good to know, good to know. Not that I'm gonna take any pictures or anything or do strange stuff like that. Who would do that? Not me! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fill the chat with you embrace Grahatia. Oh, I love this man. I love this trans man. <laughs> Alright, what does Kryle have to say? A pity Ashtola was not present for Sphine's return. A cursory glance at the imposter's ether would have doubtless been enough to confirm our suspicions beyond a doubt. Yeah, that would have been nice. Shell said she left this machine running to process more of the data from the field, si field station. Is it done yet? I don't know, kid. I don't know how to read that. You think I can... What the... You... What? Uh... Looks like a screen to me. Can't tell what's on it. <laughs> how about Geode, my man? Oh shit! Berga redeemed this. This redeem. Alright, everyone get ready. Show me your hands. Hands go like this. This way. Alright. Three, two, one. Nya! <laughs> Please enjoy this nya. I hope you like it. Neo-regulators, I heard the idea came from the citizenry, but something doesn't sit right. We'll look into this. Okay, that's a weird place to end MSQ. Not a whole lot of MSQ. Also, I did not see a mangled corpse. One of my friends was like, there's a mangled corpse, oh no. Oh, this guy. Hey, you ever heard of the Rodina Consortium? I absolutely can't stand that law, let me tell ye. That's why I give the Nexus Arcade a wide berth. Even the residential district's too close for me liking, so I just crash here. <laughs> I don't understand a word he said. <laughs> I know their places. I know that much. I know he was talking about places and whatnot. Where did Lamati go? Did Lamati have to go back to the kingdom? Grahatia. They left him for me. Thanks, Square Enix. 
All right, so the next uh, hour and a half is just going to be me hugging Grahatia. <laughs> Please enjoy this hugging Grahatia stream. I'm joking. It's not. It's not going to be. We got to give him a lot of love, though. Graha, my sweet boy. Dude, Kona is growing on me a lot, though. I got a thing for cat boys, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. <sighs> That's weird. I thought I was a little taller than Graha. I guess this is a little taller than him. Couple ilms. Inches. Ah! It's like we're it's like we're almost kissing. He's looking right at me. Kill Graha Oh, I'm too close. Ah, oh, look at him. So cute. Ah He's just so cute. Pet the cat boy. Ah Graha to you, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, what do we think about the post-Dawn Trail MSQ so far? I'm definitely intrigued and also disappointed because if Sphine is still, like, alive, that just doesn't make sense. I thought we killed her. I don't want her to come back. I didn't like her. <laughs> uh, I really gotta say really enjoyed all of the Kona and Wuklamat action we got. When Kona's glasses broke, oh, I wish I screenshotted that. That was so cool. I liked the new fights. Do you mean the dungeons or the duty? Like the solo duty you had to do? I was surprised that the solo duty wasn't like more difficult. It was still hard, and that's because I'm just not good at this game. But... <laughs> all of it. I see, I see. I guess we can do our job quest now. Even though I don't really want to die anything. Plus, I have better gear. Maybe I should just drop the job quest, honestly. I got to embrace my bunny rage. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Sometimes you gotta hulk it out. You gotta go crazy. Balls to the wall. Twirling your axe or whatever weapon you have. Uh. Alright. Have we gra grazed? Have we gazed at Graha enough? I don't know. I just love him. He's such a good boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Good boy, Graha. Such a good little boy. Whap him with a book as a scholar. Yeah, that's right. You play scholar. <laughs> scholar time. I wonder if I go into G pose, will he look at the camera? Where's my G pose? Ah, there it is. Oh, he does! I'm petting, though. <laughs> That's cute. Well, maybe I'll take a, uh, Kinen Sashin. How do you say that in English? That wasn't English just now. <laughs> Little Graha never smiles for photos. Oh, we're stepping on each other's feet. I guess that's okay. He's so cute. <laughs> Love him. Love that shit. I guess this is good enough. He 
doesn't smile for pictures. All right. Take just a little pick. That's centered, right? It's about take picture. We can look at all my screenshots that I took over the course of the expansion. That might be fun. Let's do that. Let's relive our, uh, relive, uh, oh my god, please. Alright. Pictures. 2024 FFXIV screenshots. <sighs> Let's start here. Ja -ja oh. Ja -ja okay. Something must have necessitated a change in his plans. Whose plans? I forget. But look, it's Graha. He's thinking. He's thinking. Where did you go, if I may ask? <laughs> I took it when he was, like, half blinking. Where did you go, if I may ask? So that's the way of it. My apologies if I was indelicate. <laughs> Look at him. He's so... She's shy. He's just... Uh, he's sulking. He's sulking a little baby. A little baby sulking time. It was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. Oh, yeah, I forgot that Wiklamot wore... This headdress thing. Is it because she was cold? <laughs> Why did she take it off? Oh, maybe because she got like that crown, so she has to wear the crown now? I don't know. I forgot that she wore a headdress. No match for your axe. Aw, respect for Wuklamot. That's cute. Oh, yeah! C Cryo drew a little spriggan, a little bunny. You've embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. Oh, Kryle is talking about Graha being, uh, adapting to, uh, the Warrior of Lights style versatility. He's a verse, he's a switch. <laughs> Her hat has to be hard on the ears. Yeah. Her little headdressy bandana thing. Tens of dishes have become popular in Razahan after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. <laughs> that was me! Remember when we ordered that super spicy curry and we almost died? <laughs> Aw, look, we're holding hands. We're in Charlayan. And the little Graha minion also looking out at the sea. <laughs> That's so cute. I love this picture. This is a good picture. Can I like it? I want to like it. I can't like it. <laughs> I can't favorite it or anything. Damn. <laughs> That's such a good picture. I should make that my background instead. You know what? I think I will. I think I'm going to change it. Well, I don't know. Hmm. I think I will. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna set as lock screen. Set as background. Did it work? Show desktop. Yeah. Our feet got a little cut off. That's all right. Nice. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, it's just despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. I think I just take a lot of pictures of Graha when, uh, when I think he's cute, which is a lot of the time. So it's not that he's saying anything important, it's just that I thought he looked really cute here. He's smiling. He's cute. Did you ever do the extremes? No. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't like the hard content. <laughs> I have a hard time with the normal content. 
<laughs> I'm struggling. I'm really struggling with level 100 content. The experiences to be had, all the things you might hear, feel, and think, it's enough to stir me to the core. Aw, hear, feel, think, he's calling back to Heidelin. Ah, oh, this is a good picture, too. Life is a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. And then he's quoting, that's from Shadowbringers. Oh, dude's quoting ARR and Shadowbringers, all in, in one dialogue. I could take you through Everkeep if you ever wanted to start the extremes. It's the easiest one. Thank you, but I think I might pass. <laughs> Uh, I, I, it stresses me out to no end doing, like, extreme content. Oh, look. Oh, that was the end of Endwalker. Oh, this was for Valentine's Day. It's me and Mushy. Mushy. Look at us. We're so cute. That's my boyfriend. My other husband, besides Graha. <laughs> me and Mushy. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. If my silly self can do it as solo healer, you'll be fine, lol. Solo? That's insane. Like, no one else was there? <laughs> oh, that was for a phone background. And then look, it's Honey Baby and Caramel Toffee. That's my dad's character that I made. <laughs> That's my alt that I used to play with him, but I'm thinking of going on my own now. I don't know. This is me by the fire, just standing. Solo healer, not solo fight, lol. I'd be smooshed. Okay, I see, I see what you mean. Enterprise, engage! Oh, this was from when I was replaying ARR, probably on PTTA. Oh, this is my Lollafell. Oh, this is when I renewed my vows with Graha. Ceremony of eternal bonding. Oh, he's blinking. <laughs> That's okay. Aw. Look at him. Himb. It's him. Aw, showing off our rings. Kissing! Smooching! <laughs> Walking back down the aisle. Ah, lovely. Oh, yeah. Tink was there. My sister's boyfriend was there. I think Mushy was there, too, but they couldn't, or he couldn't, like, join in. So he had to wait outside. <laughs> On the Chocobo outside. Yeah, there's Mushy. There's Krungalungus, or whatever his name is. <laughs> Corgi's character. It was raining. I could have done some third-party magic, but I was on stream. <laughs> and then this is the beginning of Dawn Trail. I'm alone on the ship. Dawn Trail! It's so bright. I bid you welcome to Tuliolau. Yeah, it's Wook Lamont. She doesn't have her hat on anymore. And look, it's me in Tuliolal. I love this picture. This is such a touristy picture. My little Graha minion. <laughs> so cute. And then me in Kozamauka, I think. It's so pretty. Look at all the pretty leaf colors and the aetherite and the cliffs with the waterfalls. This is a really pretty expansion. Super pretty. Ah, me and Graha, me and my Mad Max leather bondage gear. <laughs> me watching the fireworks alone because Mushy didn't want to take a picture together. Just watching all the fire. Oh, there we go. There's a picture together. <laughs> We're just standing. <laughs> We're not doing any special pose or anything. I am dressed in a bikini. All right. <laughs> a speedo, if you will. <laughs> Damn. Me talking to Graha again. Who was that? Oh, that was Zeralja. 
That's right. I don't know why I took a picture of it. <laughs> Maybe because I was happy that it was finally over. Me in front of the uh, throne castle room thing. Me in living memory. Me and Graha in living memory. Don't know why we're looking not at the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and Mushy did the Halloween event. <laughs> Took a picture of a Kabedon. <laughs> Kabedon. Kabedon. <laughs> and then we had a picnic. And then I dressed up as Graha. And then we took some pictures in the haunted house. Cute. Oh, and then I made a glam to match the parasol I got doing treasure maps. Cute. And then I made a fall glam. Cute. Then I took some screenshots of Honey Baby because damn, look at this boy in the graphics update. He is so cute. Damn, that's a cute boy. Damn. That's all I can say is damn. He's so cute. I love him. And I took some of him in a maid outfit. Using magic. <laughs> he doesn't have these clothes. He barely has, like... He's got the, uh... I forgot to take the choker off for this. He has the subscribed rewards. Like the uh, Leonhardt attire and stuff like that. Me sleeping. Sleepy time. So tired. So sleepy. Oh, my new outfit. I think I glammed over this already. Oh, another outfit to match this bow. Cute. And then the one we took just now. Apparently, I feel like. There's got to be more than that, right? Yeah, here they are. Okay, that's weird. Oh, you know what it is? It's because um, when you take them out of cutscenes, they go like ahead in the folder instead of behind. So that's what that was. These are all from the story. I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. Ah! Estinian! I love Estinian. I want more Estinian. The second promise. Kona! You guys remember when Galul Jaja was alive? Man, what a time. Look at Kona, this sister complex little baby. And then rem we remembered what Graha said. Excellent trade! <laughs> it's like the penny challenge. Excellent trade. Feet accomplished. Yay. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Gotta tame the alpaca. Action shot of Wuklamat beating Bakul Jaja. Yeah! Remember this? My friends, it's been, well, not that long. Ah! Remember when Thancred and Urianje showed up? Oh, that was good times. Good times right there. Oh, hell yeah. Look at them. I love my gay dads. <laughs> we intend to hold nothing back and expect you to do the same. Hold nothing back. That's just like you. Thancred goes balls to the wall. Every time. <laughs> Aw, uh, it will. Are you sure? She's crying. <laughs> Lama tea. <laughs> Please take her axe around my flesh onto taco me. <laughs> and then when she landed on Kona. <laughs> I, Valley Garmanda. Dun dun. You guys remember that? Oh yeah, I thought I looked cute in this lighting. This was a cute cutscene. It's ready. Oh, Zebrook Pibil. I remember this. It's Gordon Ramsay. Zebrook Pibil. That's right. Get it back. The candy. 
I am truly grateful to have met you. Oh, Is he talking to me? I think he was talking to me at this point. Kona! I am truly grateful to have met you. That's so sweet. I wasn't expecting to see your faces among the crowd. It's still the one! He's back. Estinian is back. Love, love Estinian. He was elusive, this expansion. He didn't really stick around. He helped a little bit when, like, the attack happened, but, like, that's about it. He helped fend off uh, Zeral Jaws stuff, but I'll be able to enjoy a comfortable life on the road for this foreseeable future. He got paid. My boy got the bag. Oh yeah, the impending doom. Me and Aaronville. You have heard my ultimatum. Uh oh. Viper against Viper. That's a cool picture. Graha! This is when he showed up. I think. I think it's when he showed up. Graha! Bark, 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 bark. He looks so tiny next to Ket and Rom. <laughs> Raha, you still, that's right. Alize calls him Raha too. I need to start calling this boy Raha. I gotta get out of the habit of saying Graha. It's Raha. It's Raha to me. We're married. Come on now. After that long voyage, I had hoped that we might be afforded a moment's rest, but I gather circumstances are quite dire. You stole a... Graha! All is well at the Annex, never fear. I've already dealt with the most pressing matters, and others hold the fort in my absence. I wasn't worried. I was just really glad to see you. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the Baldessian Annex. I just care about Graha being with me. <laughs> What I heard led me to conclude this is... Oh, I just took this because it was a shot of two of my lovers. <laughs> a group shot of Yastola and Graha. They're so cute. Just I love, like, the shape of Yastola's face and hair. And then Graha is really cute, too, with his little pony braid thing and his little hair pins. And his neck tattoos, they both have neck tattoos. Oh, so cute. Stay safe out there and don't do anything reckless. Estinian, he cares about us. You guys, he cares. Aw, me and Graha were chatting while Alize fell asleep on Aaronville. That's really cute. That's such a cute picture. That's adorable. What 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 is this picture for? Did I miss... Did I misclick? Probably. I probably didn't mean to take this picture. Oh, shit! <laughs> the magic boy is magicking. <laughs> that face. <laughs> you should arrive at the dome in no time at all. Look at them jumping! Look at him jump! Look at me behind the cannon. Aw. Alize and Graha, they're cute together. They're the best of friends. Very, very cute. Boom! The explosion. Yes, familiarizing ourselves with the technology here will help us prepare for the battles to come. I thought he just looked cute at this moment. <laughs> oh, and then the rising happened. Yay. Yay. Fireworks time. Mushy. Mushy pats the wind up Alphino. <laughs> I don't know why I took this picture. Probably because I thought the sunset and the fireworks were pretty. Oh, and there's Mushy. Finally showed up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the energy tonic. I feel it coursing through my veins. This is so funny. And then he had it too. <laughs> and then we all sat around the campfire and listened to Otis. You guys remember Otis? I didn't remember Otis for a while. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're enjoying yourself. Who, this guy? 
Well, now, it seems we have that in common. I haven't felt this alive in a good while. Aww. She's so cute. I love you, Stola. I'm just over here kicking my feet, looking at these screenshots of my favorite characters. Ah! Estin and Yan! Oh, love Estin and Yan. Hey, kid, the ones below are yours. Kid! It's funny. Hardly sporting, and this despite our best efforts to thin the enemy ranks. Ah. Thancred, he's so cool. I remember, so this is the cutscene that I thought was really cool. Well, it's not quite what we had planned. I'm glad we chose to remain in Tyrol. Aww. And Uriandre said, as am I. T'was an unexpected but welcome opportunity to join in the defense of this realm. Aww. And to his credit, Kona did ask very nicely. <laughs> What did they do to Kona? What kind of threesome did they get into? <laughs> oh, I could write fanfic about that. God. Kona asked very nicely. That's so cute. Ah, Moe. Moe do. I'm burning up with Moe. Ah, Kona did ask very nicely. Still, it's a pity his brother had to delay our pleasure, John, but business always comes first. This whole, this whole dialogue, I love. Ah, oh, I love. Delay our pleasure jaunt. They were just on vacation, man. They didn't sign up for this. <laughs> oh, and look at Alphano being real cool with his sage magics. I couldn't, that's not a very good picture, but you can see what's happening. Him and Kettenrum. Destroying mechanical soldiers. Worry not, we have a countermeasure. Ah, uh, off and oh. Kona! He's talking with the baby dragon. Your crimes are beyond forgiveness, but your people are innocent. Off and oh, and you're still an Estinian too. Oh, Alize. Yeah, ever the gang's all here. It's enormous! <laughs> what are they looking at? <laughs> I think this is when we came to the Golden City. Yeah. I have faith it will not come to that, but should it, I will endeavor not to disappoint. Aw. They're holding open the portal for us. Right, let's go. Ah, oh, this is a good group shot. This is a good picture. If Aaronville wasn't blinking, shit. <laughs> you can't win them all. <laughs> Maybe he's just taking a deep breath. <laughs> uh, this is a good picture still. Damn. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All this time it was here, the city of gold, Aaronville. And once you've plundered a world of ether, what then? Will you do the same to others? <laughs> Staring at the popcorn bucket. Uh, I think he was talking to Sphine, and I liked his face because he's angry. Angry boy. And then we're, the next shot is just us looking at popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I remember eating popcorn with Graha. Or, I, I mean, it's amazing. I've never had such tasty popcorn. <laughs> He's lying. And then the canal ride. Oh, the canal ride. Oh, I remember this like it was yesterday. My favorite moment ever is when the book falls on your shoulders. <laughs> Ah, yes, that is one of my favorite moments as well. My favorite, like, Yestola moment. That, and when she had to say, like, what was it? Dripple, dropple, frothle, and foam or something. <laughs> when she had to, like, remake her childhood familiar or whatever. <sighs> the little water was. That's so cute. It was so adorable. Yastola is so cute, but, like, if you tell her she's cute, she'd probably, like, slap you. 
<laughs> and that's why I love her. <laughs> Canal ride with Graha. Oh, it's so romantic. Oh, so romantic. Look at him. Him. It's him. Oh, good picture, good picture. Oh, the couple's waving to us. Graha's waving back. Our lovely boat ride. That life is a series of journeys, that you must be true to yourself, for indeed there's no telling what awaits. Yes. He's quoting his Shadowbringers monologue again. Aw. Staring into each other's eyes. Dude, Square Enix cooked with this. This is the best cutscene in Dawn Trail. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Romantic gondola? gondola? No, it's not a gondola, is it? Romantic boat ride. Canal boat. Canal boat with Graha. What would I have done then had I this? Aww. And then the beautiful fountain show that we all watched. You were mine, too. Aww. I think they were talking about family or something. Look at us on the zip line. Wee! Wee! Oh, and then Wook Lamott dressed up as an elephant. And I dressed up as a bunny. <laughs> it really does suit you. <laughs> and where are the others for that matter? Oh, yeah, I got to pretend to be a knight. And so did Wook Lamott. That's a really cute top. It suits her. I like that top. Ah, <laughs> what a twist. What? <laughs> Graha looks so happy. I really wish I had context. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> oh, the twist was in the play. The the twist. The play. I forget exactly what Wilkemot had to say, but... Arg, I, I am killed. <laughs> Look at me. I win. Yay. <laughs> Think nothing of it. This is what friends are for. Oh, the next one's going to be Graha eating ice cream. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the best picture I have of Graha. <laughs> I shared this in my Discord, and Mushi said ice cream ball gag, and now I can't see it as anything but a ball gag. My dude, my man is just biting ice cream. <laughs> You're gonna hurt your teeth. You're gonna get a brain freeze. I feel so bad for him. But he was trying to just lighten the tension. <laughs> Oh, man. Brain freeze cat. Yes. Precisely. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, this is such a good picture of Quaha. Look at him. Oh, I just want to smooch his face. Smooch his face off. Mm. Love, Graha. Sounds like a pain in the ass. Remember when she said that? That was so funny. I I remember when I took this picture. <laughs> oh, and then our little uh, capybara ride. As you wish, Mother. I'll continue what you began. Oh, Aaronville. And that was it. That's the end. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, right. This I felt with conviction as I basked in the glow of a new dawn. This is Aaronville talking. This is also a good group picture. <sighs> good shit, good shit. Taco! Dang it, I didn't get him eating the taco. I got him, like, looking at the taco. Damn. 
Uh, well, somewhere out there, there's a better picture of Graha eating a taco. Aaronville talking with Anchor to Nudianje. Cute. Estinian being accosted by children. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Alvino laughing at him. Oh, so wholesome. These end credit, like after credit scenes or like in between credit scenes were the most adorable. For sure. Excuse me. Ah. Staring straight into the sun. Sounds about right. <laughs> Let us stare directly into the sun's rays and get blind. Oh, that's a good picture. Look at me. Aw. And then there's a rainbow. That's so gay. <laughs> rainbow. Yay. And then that was it. Final Fantasy Dawn Trail. Oh, and then some... <laughs> Some uh, other pictures. Probably before shit hit the fan. If that's Zeral Jaw, it looks like Zeral Jaw. And it looks like they're uh, sparring while Lamati and Kona are just having a little chat. And then this one, oh, this one's really cute. Lamati talking to us and Kona is talking to Gulul Ja. It's adorable. Oh yeah, this is the Arcadian. I did that. <laughs> As for Stinian, we know neither where he is nor what he's doing. Some things never change. Crossroads! <laughs> Kona! Oh, this is where we go feral. This is where happens. I will save the Hetzo. He's so cute. There, there. You've nothing to fear. Aaronville. Such a good boy. I made a vow to our people. You shall plague them no longer. He's so cool. Ah. Uh, yeah. You're done for. Look at him shooting his little pew pew gun. I did no more than it is a Don Servant's duty. He's blushing. He's blushing. Ah, I always carry a spare a spare pair of spectacles or two. It can be difficult to find replacements outside of the city. You wouldn't believe how many I went through during the ride of succession. <laughs> so funny. Is that a teeny tiny kakiwa? N no. <laughs> oh, and then Lamati hugging Gululja. Hmm. Sad times. Oh, that's the last one. Oops. That's it. That's all. Let me see here. Yep. That's the last, like, official screenshot. Ah. All right. We've got an hour left. <sighs> uh. Uh. I'm sorry for party rocking. I'm sorry for sniffling so much. All right, I guess we can do the job quest. Might as well, I picked it up, so we should just finish it. Grahatia, such a good boy. Raha. Raha. Raw dogging Raha. 
Sorry. <laughs> Raha. Daha. Raha. 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 You know, Mikote names, the H's are meant to be pronounced like hissing sounds. So be like, Graha. 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 I don't know. <laughs> Did you know my character's birth name is Ilunha? Yeah. Ilunha something. I wrote it down somewhere. All right. Gather information in Malgar's Reach. Use an Aetherite ticket. I'm not paying a thousand gil. Are you out your mind? Are you crazy? Can't fly here. This is a no fly zone. Yes, I met the Mamul Jaw girl you're after. She was looking for a tall, thin man. Some sort of thief, apparently. Sounded a bit like the leader of a gang of bandits that lurks around Virjala, so I told her as much. Chances are that's where she's headed. I hope she stays out of trouble. Hmm. Amaro! My Amaro. Odila. A Mamulja, you say? As it happens, she came over while I was cleaning the cannons. She showed me an empty Arak bottle and said she was looking for the bloke it had belonged to. Thing is, that brand's found all over Alamigo, so I wasn't able to help narrow down our search. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I saw Mamul John my patrols, but he carried an enormous axe. Not at all like the person you describe. Ah, I see. Search for Sitolja in Virjala. Where, where is that? Girabanya, the fringes. Oh. Oh, a founder. Sitoja and a waylaid merchant. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Here. Let me apply some of this ointment. It's a common remedy where I come from. Oh, are you here to lend a hand? This poor soul was attacked by highwaymen and I could use help tending to his wounds. Don't worry about me. It's my escort who's in trouble. He's in pursuit of the thieves and I fear he's bitten off more than he can chew. Please, will you aid him? Yeah, I'll try. Goodbye. Quay! Quay, quay, quay! Hmm. You thieving bastards! Uh oh. Hmm. What? But how? Behold. Guag. 
<laughs> Nothing like a bit of divine intervention to tip the scales in my favor. With this artifact in my hands, I am invincible. We'll see about that. Another one, eh? Not that it matters. Kakulja, it's time you earned your coin. Kakulja, it's time you earned your coin. <laughs> hey, he has the same axe as Lamati. I appreciate the assistance, but he wasn't joking about divine intervention. Some strange force pushed me away. I can't even get near them. The Steel Hog Vessel! Return it at once! And the stolen goods! Oh ho ho! You followed me all the way here from your backwater village? Alas, your journey has been for naught. The vessel is mine! I shall t what? Shall tofi? Will make better use of the artifact than you and your ilk ever could. By the might bestowed upon me, I will become savior to the oppressed and destitute. In light of my grand ambitions, the vessel's power would be wasted on the likes of you. If you cannot hunt without it, might I suggest a change of diet? I hear the acorns are delicious at this time of year. Damn. Wait, why are they running away? Hmm. Damn it all. I was so close. Not really. <laughs> hmm. But now is not the time for regrets. These two are in need of a healer. I'll see them safely to Ralgar's reach. Would you mind meeting us there? Once their injuries have been treated, we'd better tell the resistance soldiers what happened. Okay. It's gotta be close. Oh, it's not very close. Well, I'm glad we made it to safety without any more trouble. Those bandits wouldn't dare step foot in this place. Oh, excuse me. Ah, how rude of me. I never asked your name, or how you chanced across us, for that matter. I'm Roga Vignuet, and I came from Tuliolal. You came all the way from Tuliolal at my grandfather's behest? I can't tell you how grateful I am. Yes. As for the highwaymen, they possess the Steelhawk Vessel, a treasure from my village. Not only does it grant protection from harm, it also produces a potent blast when the barrier is dispelled. As long as our enemies have the vessel, attacks at close quarters will be extremely risky. Although, as we say in my village, cracks form in even the mightiest of shields. Knowing this, we are careful not to rely too heavily on its power. But now that the Steelhog vessel has been stolen, the selfsame power is being turned against innocent people such as yourselves. I only hope you can forgive me for allowing this to happen. There's nothing to forgive. If anything, we should thank you for coming to our aid. That Shaltofi and his lackeys have a lot to answer for. 
Indeed. We'll give the Resistance our testimonies, and with any luck, the information will go some way to clapping those bandits in irons. I'll go with you. The soldiers here need to be warned about the vessel. No, no. Leave that to us. We'll relay what you've told us, word for word. After all, you'll need to move quickly to have any chance of getting your artifact back. When you catch those robbers, give them one from me. Hmm. How about you, Roga? I hope I can count on you to be there for whatever else whatever else comes next. No. I'm thinking of dropping it. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. I sense you're eager to get started, but I need time to plan our next move. Bandits aren't known for being found easily. I was surprised to see a fellow Mamul Jaw among them. I can't imagine why that Kakul Jaw would work for Shalto feet of all people. To steal a steel hog. Oh, we get EXP, but it doesn't matter because all of my long distance ranged DPS are level 100. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Damn. And that's where we'll leave it. <laughs> I don't want to pick this up. Bandits abound. Because all that it does is lets you die the stuff, but like this bard outfit. Here, let's get into the light. This bard outfit is really cool. And I like how it looks. But I've already leveled past this gear. I really like the weapon though, look. It's got like an electric guitar on it. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. But when I do this, see? It's all this stuff. Oh, it looks bad. Ugh. Well, that's fine. Hmm. I probably won't be playing on Bard. So it's okay. Now, here's some things we can do. Hmm. Hmm. Guess I'll go on right now. Just me waving. That's fine. So here's what we can do. Here are our options. Option number one. We can do fates to level up my red mage, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> Option number two. We can keep doing side quests. Just the gold side quests, not the... Not the blue side quests, because I don't care about unlocking every single thing in the game just yet. Or number three, we can go on to Peachy Tia and do MSQ. We're just about at the Praetorium, I think, on Peachy Tia. So what do you think? I'm thinking maybe side quests. <sighs> Because I titled the stream Post Dawn Trail, but we finished it really early. So I kind of want to stay on the same character. I don't want to confuse people. Side quests. Okay. 
Where did we leave off here? Porta Praetoria or something? That's what I have written in my notes. Wait, no. Go to all. Scroll down. Porta Praetoria. Look, we're almost done. <laughs> the locks. And then we go to the Stormblood places. Well, we're technically in the Stormblood places already. <laughs> Porta Praetoria. Yeah. Is there some kind of... Some kind of hunt train? I think so. S rank hunt, the locks. Should we go to it? It's really far. Let's go check it out. I probably want to be on a level 100. Don't pull it before PT. When's PT? What's PT? Pepsi Man. Katsuki Bakugo. Salt and light. Level 70. Centurio seals. What kind of these are rare spawns. We want to give everyone a chance to get here and hit it. Thank you. Yeesh. Hmm. Everyone is teleporting away. Goodbye, everyone. What are Centurio seals? Are they these? No, they're these. Interesting. I have 56 of them. Unable to apply glamour plates here. That's okay. Let's see where there's side quests. Over here. Did we do all the ones over here then? It would seem so. Hmm.
This is good music. They're fighting in the shout chat. Oh, the Chocobo Keep. Yep. Chocobo Keep. Topher! At the top of the stairs. Level 69, baby. Topher seeks a redoubtable soldier for an urgent mission at the top of the stairs. It's level 69. Maybe I'll switch to Dragoon? Glamours could not be restored. That's okay. It's just the earring. Should I be dragon? What level is my dragon? 83. Hmm. 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 Or should I use it? on my tank. Hmm. What should I level? What should I level, chat? Hmm. I should really unlock Sage, Reaper, and Viper. But we're already here doing side quests. Hmm. What to level? Mm. I should probably do tanks and healers with side quests. Mm. What to do, what to do. Hmm. Maybe I'll switch to Paladin. That's Dancer. Oh. Oh, Paladin. Oath gauge unlocked. I don't know. I think because the update does this thing. Have all the level 70 gear. Hmm. 
Aw, my paladin portrait. Alright, we'll stick on paladin for now. I don't remember. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Wow, what is this? Holy circle? Holy Spirit? Intervene? <sighs> well, <laughs> I know clemency is a heal. Then this rushes the target. Eh. I'll be fine. At the top of the stairs, Topher seeks a redoubtable soldier for an urgent mission. Lieutenant Vignette, I have a mission that requires your immediate attention. A squad I dispatched to secure a watchtower to the south of here has sent an urgent request for reinforcements. The structure seemed abandoned according to our scouts, and I thought the few men I sent would be sufficient for the task. It appears I was wrong. They were ambushed by a superior force. My remaining soldiers have left on other duties, and I fear the Watchtower squad may not survive even the rest until the rest of our company can reach them. You may be their only hope. Pray make haste to Southwatch and rendezvous with our resistance fighters there. You got it, Nyan. Over there, huh? Toot toot. This looks like the tower. Resistance fighter. Aren't you one of the signs of the seventh dawn? By Ralgar, they've sent us the bloody warrior of light. I've heard all the tales. I should probably tell you what happened. The tower looked empty as we were told it would be, but we barely made it to the top of the stairs. Some thing appeared out of thin air and attacked us. Maybe several somethings. I was just flailing my axe behind me, hoping to discourage whatever it was while I pushed the wounded ahead of me back down the stairwell. I suppose you'll be going up there to deal with our ambushers, then. If you don't mind, I'll stand guard here and look to my comrade's injuries. Okay. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I can handle this. I can handle this. I can handle this. I love tanking. I am a main tank. <laughs> I'm lying. Of course I'm lying. I should have gone on a mount for this. Destination. What could it be? Oh boy. Lord- oh wow, there's a lot of them. Oh shit. Where's my AoEs? I have an AoE, don't I? Is it this? Aha.
Okay. Lordless Druva. Hmm. You know what? We can just jump off. We'll be fine. We have clemency. We have to end up down... Here? Yeah, I think so. Whee! Oof. Okay, we're all good. Ah, that sounds like Druvas, that does. Didn't get a good look at them myself, but I'm glad I no longer need to. You have our thanks. A few bandages have seen my fellows right, so we should be able to finish up here. Please pass on my report to Captain Topher. You got it, Nyan! Should I just follow the mini-map? No. Nah. What's this guy's name? Avir? Avir's head. Flying on a decapitated head. It's so much fun. Flying on a decapitated head. I'm having a fun time. So much fun. I love flying on decapitated heads. Hello, Topher. My men are no longer in danger then. I thank you for rushing to their aid, Lieutenant. These druvas you encountered, no one is certain how they came about, but one theory describes them as a manner of naturally occurring golem, crystals that have spontaneously shaped themselves into monstrous forms. They appear and act like living beings, but no intelligence to speak of. All we know is that Druvas are drawn to other creatures in a relentless hunt for ether. Girabanians have learned to loathe and fear them. They used to hire mercenaries to clear out the worst of such nightmares, but it would seem the Imperials neglected even that simple task. They care not what befalls the citizens of their conquered provinces. I will take news of this incident to my superiors, and see that any potential Druva haunts are properly scouted in the future. Again, you have my thanks. Woohoo! Meow, 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 meow. Ooh, actually, we should probably mend. Or not. I guess I didn't do any fighting, really. Okay. <laughs> Reindeer time! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Look at the little snowman! Merry Christmas, everybody! Happy Merry Christmas! Here we go. Here's some... Some guys. Do I have any suits of armor? Hang on. Glamour plate. I kind of want to wear this one. I don't know. Hmm. This one kind of looks like a suit of armor. Don't really want to change my glam. Should I change it to the fall one? No, I'll just keep it what it is for now. It's cute. Danto Noel. Send in the armor. Serpent Captain Danton Noel needs an adventure of particular experience. Ah, Lieutenant Vignette. How fortunate to meet a hero of your standing in these trying times. Will you be staying long? If so, I would beg your assistance with a certain matter. 
a matter which you, as a veteran of conflict with the Empire, would be uniquely suited to resolve. Allow me to explain. Our scouts have been attempting to scare the plateaus to the northeast, but were forced to withdraw when they encountered several units of hostile war machina. Machina? War machina? Machina? I don't know. A parting gift from the Imperial Army, I assume. It would seem these unmanned contraptions are commanded to greet any who stray too close to certain key positions with lethal, with lethal, with lethal force. In any case, our scouts have set up a post nearby to keep the machina, uh, machina under observation. Now, I have it on good authority that you've amassed considerable experience in dealing with such foes. If you have the time to spare, the flame officer at the observation post would be most grateful to have your destructive expertise at his disposal. You got it, Nyan! Leave it to me! That's over where the uh, hunt was. Guys, remember the hunt we just did for like 10 Centurio Seals? We only got like 10. That kind of sucked. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Hmm. Lieutenant Vignette! Captain Dan Tonewell sent word that reinforcements were on the way, but I did not expect... Ahem. As you can see, we've managed to capture some of the enemy's magitech armor. After a bit of practice, we intended to employ them in the destruction of those entrenched war machina. I am, however, more than glad to surrender the role of pilot to one of your indisputable qualifications. Shall we review the targets? The enemy war machina and machina are concentrated in three separate positions, and the mission requires that all hostile forces be eliminated. I'll mark the locations on your map. Here, here, and here. The armor is yours to command. Good luck, Lieutenant. Okay! We get to do this shit again. Can I fly? I cannot fly. Uh-oh. Hmm. Aha. That's it? <laughs> oh, wait, there's more. Okay. Uh, how do we get there? Go around. At least there's no time limit, it doesn't look like. Sure wish we could fly. Dang it, that one doesn't do anything. Did 
I'm gonna get closer. I have to aim directly at it. That's so weird, this other one does nothing. Oh, there, I have to be really close. Hmm. All right. Now we gotta go up to the tippy top. We're in it for the long haul, boys. The third royal cassern? Easy. <gasps> There's more. That was bad targeting. <laughs> it's gotta be it, right? Oh my god. Good thing I'm a tank. It's a good thing I'm also higher level than all this. There we go. Okay. Now we go back. Maybe I don't have to be in the Magitek armor anymore. Better safe than sorry though, that's what I always say. Wee Wee You know what would be cool is if the pounding of the armor's feet matched the beat of the music. That'd be really cool. Oh. 
I could have dismounted that entire time. <laughs> oh my god. That was incredible. We could see the blast of light from him. That is to say, fine work there, Lieutenant. <laughs> it was an honor to see you in action, sir. We'll be packing up and heading back to base soon, but I'd appreciate it if you could make an advance report to Captain Danton Noel. You got it, Nyan. Leave it to me. Oh yeah. I'm being abducted. Back over there. Do 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 Just a cat person being delivered by a UFO. Lieutenant Vignette, no need for the details. Your presence here alone is a sufficient proof that the mission went as planned. Your cooperation was a most welcome development. If only we had more soldiers with your experience. Simple clearing away these war machina has given us no end of trouble, and we have no way of knowing how many of the things yet remain. But such is the reality of war. Winning battles is merely the first step. It is the mopping up of problems in the aftermath that can prove the most difficult challenge. Thank you again for your aid, Lieutenant Vignette. No problem, Yan. Leave it to me. I think we have time for one more. Let's just do one more. Pami Solo. Necessities of war. Pami Solo seeks aid in restocking his medicin medical supplies. You, you were the one who gained the favor of Lord Drillmont. I did? Who's Lord Drillmont? I've already forgotten. My apologies. Would you be so kind as to lend me your assistance? I am Pemi Solo, a, ch a chirurgeon dispatched from Whitebrim Front. This war, no matter how well it is waged, continues to send an endless line of wounded to my station. Thus, no matter how many supplies are brought in, I continue to work through my stock at an alarming rate. I had thought to resupply myself by drawing on the resources naturally available in the region, and a renowned soldier such as you could certainly expedite the process. The resistance fighters tell me of the gigantic frogs which inhabit the land to the south. Abaddons, I believe they are called. Would you think it possible to slay several of these creatures and bring me four lengths of their tendons? Disgusting! Gross! <laughs> I'll do it, but... Gross! <laughs> You're nasty! <laughs> Just say that. Continue to mutter under my breath as I ride away. <laughs> Fucking gross. Let's see. Frog tendons? Are you kidding me? You gotta be shitting me, man. <laughs> the warrior of light has a potty mouth. <laughs> uh... Aha. I suppose these are the creatures. Get off of me. I guess I get off of you. Uh, right. Uh, Holy Spirit. Oops. I meant to do this. Oh well. does this button do? That's provoke. Okay. Wait, don't I have a... Oh, it's this one. Shield bash, I think. Uh, 
This isn't a bad spot. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch these. I want to switch these, please. Thank you. Okay, so now I can run and do this. Let's see if it works this time. Go ahead, try it, AoE. Try it, try it, punk. Do it, do it, you won't. Bam! <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, shield lob. That's what that button is. Okay. Let's do it again. Hell yeah. Stun the shit out of this boy. Awesome. Who's next? Oh, wow, two out of four. Ooh, Luminade. Is that an S rank? You think I could kill it by myself? Did we see? Nah. I ain't about that life. <laughs> We're going to fly over it. Okay. Provoke should be not here. Oh, we need one more. Run away from the hunt. It's just Centurion Seals. I think I already got everything I want from Centurion Seals. Ooh! Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, we diggity doggone done it. We'll never know if I could have taken on that hunt alone. Probably not, because the other one took like 20 people and like a minute or so. So it would probably take me like five minutes to do it alone. There's a good chance I might die. I don't know. We'll never know. We'll just have to be okay with not knowing. Hello, Pami Solo. Did, did, <laughs> did they abandon? Did the Abaddons pose you any challenge? No! Have some tendons. Here you go, Nyan. Yes, yes, these should do quite nicely. See how rubbery the tendons are? Don't. I I really don't need to see or hear or feel or think about that. <laughs> they should stretch far without... Oh, just spat everywhere. <laughs> Speaking of disgusting things, <laughs> I myself am disgusting. They should stretch far without snapping, making them perfect for keeping bandages in place or strapping on wooden limb replacements. We Guardians developed many techniques for emergency field procedures during the centuries of the Dragonsong War, though it says much of our history that we were pressed to invent such treatments. A healer will always do what he must to save the life expiring before him. It is a calling I could not ignore. My apologies. I did not intend to delay you with my ramblings. I thank you for your help. Doo -doo. Cool, thanks. There's one more. Should we just get it done? I'm fine going over a little bit. This is the last side quest on this map. And then we're free. Except this thing. What's that? Oh, Ruby Doomsday. That's the Ruby weapon. I haven't done the weapons yet. Go for it. Okay. Once I finish... All the side quests in the game, 
Then I'll work on unlocking all the blue checkmark ones. I think that's a good idea for me. Because I'm too stressed to do it right now. Supriya. A fletching suggestion. Supriya appears enchanted by the idea of pheasant feathers. You are the strider who slew Sri Lakshmi. Would you hear my humble request? I have heard tales of the cloudkin known as pheasant, and I desire to claim some few of its feathers. Alas, I am ordered to hold this position, and so I shall. My sisters who patrol the mountain paths speak of the beautiful winged creatures soaring through the air above their root. Perhaps the feathers I seek might be found fallen here and there. Please, Strider, venture to this high place your people call the Royal Hunting Grounds, and gather all the pheasant feathers you can find. Up there, huh? You got it! Oh god, it's the chocobo carriage. Time to zoom out. Oh, we're hitting a rock. Oh god. <laughs> wow. That's a pretty enemy. Creeping Adila. They're not going to give us any trouble. We're too high level. It's when we start getting... This is why I want to level some up to like 90. Because it's only going to get harder. <laughs> We're going to be at level soon. With the side quests. So... I'm a little worried. I guess we have all of Kugane. Kugane. And that shit. Storm blood areas. Wait, I have. Oh. What's this? Hallowed ground. Might be easier from a bird's eye view. Honk honk squeak squeak. What is it? Oink oink. Honk honk squeak squeak oink oink. Let's see here. I have a feeling they might be in this building. Aha! <clears throat> okay! Papa Paisa, Papa Paisa, Papa Paisa. He leaves his kids. Papa Paisa, Papa Paisa, Papa Paisa. He leaves them on the ground. Papa Paisa, Papa Paisa. I love Papa Paisa. Papa Paisa. Papa Paisa, Papa Paisa. <clears throat> Supriya, did you find the feathers I sought? Yes. The resilient yet supple feather of a pheasant. Hand over. Here you go. Yes, they are more beautiful than I imagined. The resistance fighters I spoke with say the hunting grounds were maintained for the pleasure of the Alamegan royal family. They say pheasants were sent as gifts from the nobles of other lands, and allowed to breed for the purpose of hunting stock. 
pheasant feathers being resilient yet supple were prized as fletching, and used to make arrows of the highest quality. As such, it seems they were hunt hunted to such an extent that one prolific that once prolific creatures became a rarity. I do not care to kill when it is not needful, but if the feathers have already fallen, then I see no reason to waste them. Thank you, Slayer of Sri Lakshmi. I shall soon have fine new arrows for my bow. And that's it, everybody. <sighs> we diggity doggone done it. We did it, everybody. Look at this clear map. There's nothing here. Yay. Thanks for the unenthusiastic yay. I'm surprised we did the Alamegan Quarter already, because that's like last in the list. Hmm. Alright, so what comes next? Just checking. Uh, Alamegan Quarter done. We're doing Kugane. Let me write that down. Kugane. Kugane for side quests. Okay. <sighs> Let's go home. This little sword of mine. I have so many job quests to catch up on. But I don't care about them. <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about my job quests. Capiche? Capiche. Hope you have a pleasant stay. Thank you. All right. Wait. Maybe I'll exit. Exit the game? Yes. Because I'm probably going to write fanfic. I was thinking I would have time to write fanfic and play the game last night. But I had to wake up early. Early. I woke up before my alarm, too. I was supposed to wake up at, like, 10.50. But I woke up at, like... 9.30. It was horrible. Anyway. Look at my new background. It's very white. The sky. The sky part is very white, but... What can you do? Nothing. Alright. I will wave goodbye here. And let's go to the outro. Yay! Ja -ja this is where you can find me elsewhere on the internet. I have a Kofi, a TikTok, and that's my art and writing Twitter slash Tumblr. So if you're interested, I haven't posted a lot of my writing on the Tumblr yet. I mean, I posted about my novel and stuff, but you know guess doesn't matter uh yeah today was mystery monday the next stream is not until friday where guess what we're gonna be playing more final fantasy <laughs> yippee final fantasy friday everybody's favorite day we also 
stream on Saturdays and Sundays, so don't miss out on that. Hang on, I need a drink of water. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is the Mushy Pieces YouTube channel where me and my other husband, Mushy, make YouTube videos, playing video games and doing that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in watching two buffoons make fools of themselves, go ahead and watch our videos. This is the stream Discord. You can join for da semi-daily questions and fun stuff. Sometimes I post in the Final Fantasy XIV channel there. Sometimes I don't. This is the novel that I wrote. It's called A Familiar Kind of Love. It's about... You know what it's about already. <laughs> it's available on Amazon, so if you want to read it, you can read it there. That's it for me. Thank you for coming to my stream, Yen. Good night. Good night, Father. Good night, everybody else. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.